what's up guys welcome back to another video in this video we're going to be creating a frequently asked questions accordion with frame or motion react and tailwind so let's get started i'm going to try to make this as fast as i can because i know you guys like these fast tutorials already got my project up in here i have react icons installed frame or motion tailwind and i'm using Vite right now so i made this accordion on my uh e-commerce site that i just um dropped so if you guys want to go check that out you can it's the same exact one just going to import use state use state from react and we're going to import some stuff from framer motion i'm going to do motion and animate presence animate presence and this is going to come from framer motion and we also going to import two icons a plus icon and a minus icon let me go ahead and paste that in there and I'm getting some errors. Oh, I forgot to do comma. All right. So let's go ahead and do some state. We're going to do cons active question and a set active question. And this is going to equals use state and a default value is going to be null. All right. So let's go ahead and write some JSX. Actually, before we do that, you're going to need an array with an ID question and answer. I did five of them. And like I said, it's the same exact one from my um, e-commerce site. I'm just going to go ahead and paste it over here. So you just want to make an array questions array and have an ID, have a question and have an answer. Now I did five of them. So just if you want to pause the video and just type that up right quick, you can let's go ahead and write some JSX. So I'm going to do a div. Just so I can get rid of this little white background. I'm just gonna probably do like a black div, Let's do a class name of uh, width screen, the height of screen, uh, BG of black, and a flex, a justify center, and an item center, just so it can be nice and centered. It's gonna save that. All right, so let's go and start on our accordion now. I'm gonna do a div, and we're gonna do a class name. I'm using a new keyboard right now, man. It is. <laughs> I don't like it. Uh, we're gonna do width 89%. Do a margin of auto. I'm gonna do a max width of 1400 pixels. Uh, okay. And we also gonna do like a BG of gray. Let's do grade 300. And we also gonna do a pattern of eight around it of LG. A shadow of MD. And I believe that's it for that div. So it's nice and centered. That's what we want. All right, so in this div, we have a H2. And this is going to have a class name of text 2XL, a margin bottom of six, and a font of semi bold. Like that. And this is just going to say frequently asked questions. All right, cool. All right, and right under this, we're going to map to our array of questions. So we're going to do brackets. And we do questions dot map. And you can name this whatever you want. I'm just going to do Q. You can name it question if you want. And we're going to return some JSX, so make sure you do parentheses. And in here, we're going to have a div. And we need our key tag. So we're going to do a key, and it's going to be Q.id. And this is also going to have a class name of margin bottom four. And we're going to do a last of margin bottom zero. So what this does is basically for the last child, we want it to have a margin bottom zero because <laughs> uh, I mean, self-explanatory. All right. So in, inside this div, we're going to have a button. And I'm going to make some space because it's going to be a long class name. I'm going to do a class name of with full a text of left text XL 
uh, focus of outline none. And we do a padding of four, a BG of gray 400. Uh, let's actually do gray 100. A rounded of LG. A shadow of MD. And we do flex, justify between, and item center. And now you can see we got all of them there. So it's looping through our array. I mean, our questions. So we got five. So it's five boxes, five divs. <laughs> well, five buttons. Sorry. All right. So inside this button, I actually let's add an on click on here. Let's go. We're going to do an on click. And this is just going to set our current question. Let me set our active question to our active question. So if our active question triple equals our Q dot ID, we want to return null. Else we just want to return our Q dot ID, which is our question dot ID. So we're getting the error here. Um, I'm using TypeScript. I always use TypeScript. I'm sure you guys probably don't have TypeScript installed uh, right now, but if you do, uh, to get rid of that error, all you gotta do is come up here to the use state and just do number or null like that and that should get rid of that error down here all right so inside this button uh we're going to have our q dot question as you can see our questions popped up and we also want our icons so right underneath our question we're going to render this out conditionally. So we're going to do a bracket and do if active question triple equals our Q dot ID. We want to return our um, minus symbol. So F F a minus. And then else we just want it to return our plus F a plus like that. All right, so once we click, it turns to minus, plus, minus, plus. Nice. All right, so right after this button, this is where we're gonna have our our um animation. So we're gonna do animate presence like that. And inside here, we're gonna have, we're gonna render some more stuff out conditionally. We're gonna do active question, triple equals to our q.id. We're gonna return a motion.div. Uh, probably should have put that in brackets. Um, motion.div. All right, so in here, inside of this motion div, we need to set our animation. So we're going to do initial. And our initial is going to be, make sure you do double brackets. So initial is opacity is going to be zero. And the height is going to be zero. And then on our animate, double brackets again, our opacity is going to be one. And our height is going to be auto. Because we don't know how big you know, the answer could be. So you don't want to set a height for it. And then um, for we need to do a exit. So for our exit, double brackets our opacity is going to be zero and our height is going to be zero like that all right so we got our animation so this also takes a class name as well let's do a class name of margin top two and a text of gray 600 and then we also do a margin left of four all right, so we get an error for some reason. Let's see. Oh, we forgot the URL. That's why. <laughs> All right. Um, and I kind of did this wrong. So instead of um, active question, so active question equals QID, we're going to do and the double and symbol like that. So this is basically short circuiting. So if um, the first half is true, that means the second half is going to fire. If the first half is false, then it's just going to short circuit out and won't even run the second half. So that's what that is. So inside, let me go and save that. So inside of this motion div, all we're gonna have is a p tag with our q dot q 
question answer sorry and i believe that's it once we click on it oh oh i did something wrong all right sorry guys i need to learn how to spell it is with the c presence there we go all right so that should work i want to save that and it's going to refresh and now once we click now we get the effect i do apologize for that so yeah that's it for this video try to make it as fast as i can thank you guys for watching see you guys next video peace